Hello everyone, welcome to Anbalaya. We shall discuss FAQ 15, Frequently Asked Question. A person bought a certain number of similar articles for rupees 90. If he had paid rupee 1 more for each article, he would have got one article less for the same price. Find the price of each article. With 90 rupees, the person bought some articles. Okay. Suppose the price of the article was rupees one more. Then he would have got one article less. So we need to find out what is the price of each article. Let us assume first, let the price of each article be x. So totally he paid 90 rupees. If the price of each article is x, then what he will get? Number of articles bought equal to total price paid by price of each article. So, what's the total price that he paid? Rupees 90. What's the price of each article? We took it as X. So, when he paid 90 rupees and price of each article is X. So, how many articles he will get? 90 by X articles he will get. Suppose the case they say, if price paid for each article is X plus 1, that is 1 rupee more. Earlier he paid X rupees. Now they are saying a situation when it is just 1 rupee more. So the price of each article is X plus 1. In this case, the number of articles he buys, number of articles bought is equal to, he has rupees 90 or he paid rupees 90. Now the price of the article is just 1 rupee more. So X plus 1. 90 divided by x plus 1. Earlier with 90 rupees, the price of each article was x. So he got 90 by x articles. Now the price is increased by 1 rupee. So now he will get 90 divided by x plus 1 article. When the price increased, the number of articles decreased. He would have got one article less in this case. Okay. So this is number of articles he got when price was X rupee. This is number of article he would be getting when price had increased to one rupee more. So here 90 divided by X number of articles when price was X minus 90 by x plus 1. This is number of articles when price was rupee 1 more. In this case, earlier when price was x, he got 1 article extra. So 90 by x minus 90 by x plus 1 equal to 1. This is number of article when price was x. This is number of article when price was x plus 1. The difference is in first case he got one article more. Which means the difference between the two number of articles is one. In first case he gets one article more. So first case minus second case is one. Extra one article. That one. So what I do is I take LCM of the denominator. What are the denominator x and x plus 1. I take x into x plus 1. With this numerator, numerator is 90. 90 into what is not here? X plus 1 is not here. So I will multiply with X plus 1. 90 into X plus 1 minus minus. What is not here? X plus 1 is there but X is not there. So this X, I mean this X. So I multiply this 90 with X. 90 into X. So 90 into x plus 1 or else you can say cross multiplication. Okay. So 90 into x plus 1 minus 90 into x by the LCM is x into x plus 1 equal to 1. We shall see how we solve this equation. See. 
we just take 90 inside 90x plus 90 I'll just show you here 90 into x 90x plus 90 into 1 90 minus 90 into x 90x that is what I have done there yes 90x plus 90 minus 90x by x into x plus 1 how do you do x into x plus 1 x into x, x square plus x into 1, x. So we get x square plus x. As I got x square plus x equal to 1. So here 90x and minus 90x gets cancelled. So what is remaining? 90 is remaining equal to. I take this denominator, I transport the denominator to the other side. So division becomes multiplication 1 into x square plus 1. So I get 90 equal to, I multiply 1 inside. So 1 into x square is x square, 1 into x is plus x. I transport the 90 to the other side. Plus 90 when goes that side becomes minus 90. So here nothing is there. 0 equal to x square plus x minus 90. Now this is an identity. This is an identity. Here the product is minus 90. And the sum is plus 1. Normally we don't take the x. We take the coefficient of x. Coefficient of x is 1 plus 1. So the product is minus 90. The sum is plus 1. We have to take two numbers where their product is minus 90 and the sum is plus 1. So if the product is minus, one number is plus and another number is minus. So I will take 10 nines are 90 plus 10 plus minus 9 is equal to plus 1 plus 10 into minus 9 is minus 90 so when I take plus 10 and minus 9 their product is minus 90 and their sum is plus 1 so I take x plus 10 into x minus 9 equal to 0 where x plus 10 equal to 0 and x minus x plus 10 equal to 0 when I transport 10, it becomes x is equal to minus 10. x is number of articles. Can number of articles be negative? No. Now, we shall apply this and find x minus 9 is equal to 0 and x is equal to minus 9 goes that side becomes plus 9. Now, this x is equal to the price of each article is rupees 9. So, the price of each article is 9. That's all. Thanks for watching.